This video shows one of those solutions when you get the error a database operation failed while processing the request and then it's written identity uh, insert uh, is off. So this happens for example, so this is my example is what I'm showing you, when you create an, a new database, um, Visual Studio, new uh, new application with a identity flag now we have start page we create a new microsoft asp.net ap application identity 3 identity 03 as an, a new application and now we go to individual user accounts so we create the ASP.NET users authentication and now we have this application and when we try to start it then we need to update the database that's what you will see now that's the new application when I go there to register my stuff ABC um, test com ABC test ABC 1000 ABC 1000 now there should come an error that's the first one which says okay we have to update the database so we do this one, we say stop, now we go to the database and say tools, where is it, Google package manager, then we are here, then we do um, add migration start, now we add uh, to our local MVC to the models a model which connects to the database and creates the database and now we say update database now we are creating a database on our local S SQL server and we create an application DB context so now we have the view SQL Server Objects Explorer and then we'll find our database, the third one, uh, Identity 03 and now what you see there is these are the users and inside the users we have the following stuff we have View This Designer you will see there's the ID with the invalid child uh, 450 now when we add here an ID user ID user uh, as big int not null and now this comes up in here as you see no not big int big int big int that's it big int now when we say there properties when we want here an incremental number so this is for database sometimes done now we have a big int here as an incremental number and the uh, GUID ID now we update the database this should run update database Now what happens is when we try to add a new uh, element in there at users show data first when we start the database nothing is in there when we create something then here is a GUID and here is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We stop that. We don't need it anymore. Identity. Now the error will come up if I 
try to create an application, a, a user. Now I say register as new user, ABC test, ABC, ABC. Now we come to the error which says uh, it is in there. When I try to register the second one, log out, log in, now register a new one which says ABC2 test.com ABC. Now it works the second time. Okay, uh, what I want to show if the error comes up now. Uh, since what we have done is we have added a new column on the server and when we want this data the id here in our local database then we need to go to the application user and inside there i have to define this additional column which is called uh, id public id user big int ID big int ID user. Is this right? Get set. I have to look it up. Always have to look it up like this one. And now you will also find the solution. Now we saw there is also the solution. So this is ID user, normally without this one. This one. Now when I start uh, to work with it, then there will come an error on there. So we need to have this uh, data annotation flag, which is called database generated database generation uh, generated option identity. If I leave it out, start my database, <coughs> and I want to retrie retrieve those data, then the error will come. Register ABC3 ABC Now the error should come. Yes, that's what it said says okay operation failed while processing the request and now here's identity insert is set to off and that's not true that's not the point what's working the point is you have to say here in your mvc model application user in your model you have to say database generated uh, identity so it inc it works like an identity now when we do it again then we will create this the third user so we say register abc3 at test.com abc abc and as you see it works now so this is caused by the point that we have our here uh, it is identity three now when we watch those data you will see all our ASP and the important stuff is here it's one two and three also the three is in, in here so uh, it's not sorted by this one so we have to set an index in there but that's the important stuff the three is done by the uh, database generated option identity you will find that code on my website codedoku.com that's one and the link is below the video